The table below shows the number of survey subjects who have received and not received a speeding ticket in the last year and the color of their cars. Notice how 596 people were surveyed. We're asked to find the probability that a randomly chosen person, A, has a red car. We'll notice how we find the red cars in this row here. Notice there are a total of 249 people that have a red car and therefore the probability a randomly chosen person has a red car is 249 out of 596 or 249 divided by 596. So we'll say the probability of red is equal to 249 divided by 596. Let's also find the decimal one percentage. 249 divided by 596 run into four decimal places is approximately 0 0.4178, which is 41.78%. For part B, we want to find the probability that a randomly chosen person has a speeding ticket. Well, we find the speeding tickets in this column here. A total of 304 people have a speeding ticket out of the 596, and therefore the probability of a ticket is equal to 304 divided by 596. Which the four decimal places is approximately 0 0.5101, which is 51.01%. And then for part C, we want to find the probability that a randomly chosen person has a speeding ticket given they have a red car. So because it's given they have a red car, we are only considering those that have a red car, which we know are in this row. 249 people have a red car, and we're trying to find the probability a randomly chosen person has a speeding ticket given they have a red car. So those that have a red car, notice 120 of them received a speeding ticket and therefore the probability a randomly chosen person has a speeding ticket given they have a red car is 120 divided by 249. And this is called conditional probability which we indicate as the probability of a ticket given a red car which again we know is equal to 120 divided by 249 which to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.4819, which is 48.19%. I think we'll stop here and call this part one. In part two, we will determine these three additional probabilities. I hope you found this helpful.